No, uh, here you go. I
Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. 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 Spirit all week long, just been running along saying, you know, uh, me and Huck is all right. We never had no word differences. I think I can speak for him. Uh, I got a lot of love for him. He got a lot of love for me, which is what's missing in the world today. A lot of love. I know the devil has been working for a lot of years now. He ain't about to stop yet. I find out uh, tricking of the mind is what the problem is. Uh, most of the time, what's on the mind, that's what we gonna do. And uh, me and Huck didn't have a, a lot of spiritual talks. I often hear him say when we talk about stuff, Lord have mercy. So you could just mention it in, in just general conversation. I feel like you're somewhat attached and stuff. So, Happens to uh, this thing kind of stuck with me. Who is it that won't tell a joke at, at a funeral? I feel like I can do this at a father's funeral. <laughs> they were talking about the old man was at the store, hearing that the man was in a tree business, and his tree man had fired him or whatever the case was. And this old farmer said, You know what? Uh, I'm tired of this dead end stuff. You know, in our spiritual realm, we can run into dead end stuff. So if, uh, he heard the man say, I got to hire me a tree man, and all you got to do is just know the tree. So the farmer said, how hard can that be? He went up and asked, could he apply for the job? But this old farmer, his hair ladder wasn't very well, so the man said, I'm going to hire this man or not. They went out, and they did that. <coughs> Throwed them all through the woods, and the man, every time he stopped and asked him what type of tree it was, he would name it. And the key to getting the job is to get every question right. So every tree he would stop to, that man would get it. And in his mind, this this just this, this father said, he said, I'm not gonna hide this man. Just can't. It just ain't right for the job. But he got everything right. So got to the last tree, he said, I got one more question for you. You get this right, you get the job. Trick of the mind. He said, I I want you to get out of the truck and walk around that tree and tell me which is the front and which is the back. He knew it wasn't the front. But if you get one question wrong, you don't get the job. He come back to the truck and said, yes, sir. He said, that's the back of the tree right there. The man said, how do you know that's the back of the tree? He said, because somebody didn't use the bathroom on the other side. <laughs> In other words, is don't let your mind be tricked with the devil when you're thinking certain things. Find out which side of the tree you are and going through life. Um, love will keep us and will take us there. And the other thing is we got to learn how to forgive and forget. I love y'all. Thank you. Amen. I'm having an announcement. Someone, if you know your li license tag, VHC1805, your lights is on. Um, anybody, you got your flashes on. It's the Equinox. It's what? The Equinox. It's the Equinox. Chevrolet. The Equinox Chevrolet. It's in the park behind the family. Park behind the family. VHC1805. The flash is on. Okay. Uh, thank you so much.
Good evening. I stand on behalf of Johnny Higgs and Rosetta Higgs who uh, sent an email last night and also the class of 1966 group was a part of. And this is the email from Johnny and Rosetta say to son Rick and his aunt and her um, hope sister Hazel. I was deeply saddened to hear about the death of George. Please accept my heartfelt condolence. I cannot imagine how difficult this must be for you, but please know that we care for you and your family and that we will always be here to support you. I'm so thankful that you allowed Hook to call me when he was in rehabilitation. It was so refreshing to hear his voice. When we were growing up, it seemed like it was nothing that he could not do. He could do anything. He even knew something about cars, which you just heard. And I believe he was a jack of all trades. Huck, George, were probably the first in our neighborhood age at that time to get his driver's license. And we had fun riding around. The Bible says the Lord has appointed, appointed unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaven, that they might be called priests of righteousness, the planning of the Lord, that he might be glorified. And I'd like to say, and if the new members of class of 66 is here, can you please stand and move this? You may be seated. But remember that God, the Lord Jesus said that he was going away and prepare a place for us. And that if he go, he's coming back again to receive us unto himself. All of us here today, we're going to have to go the same way that the Lord tarried. So remember that Jesus is the way. He's coming back for a trip without a spot or rain. So if you don't know him, please get to know him. And remember, family, that you're grieving man, there's sorrow. But grief is the price we pay for loving somebody. Amen. We God bless you. Amen. Amen. Well, I, I forgot this part. Uh, and, and, and not no uh, disrespect to anybody, but the, I, the family said two minutes, uh, maybe at two minutes, and I didn't see that at first. So, uh, are you doing it? Next? Okay. How are you doing? Pass Good afternoon. My name is Shirley Hill. I'm pastor at Glorious Tabernacle Faith Church in Calvary. I didn't know Mr. George Huck. Parker Jr., but I got to know his son, Rick. For about three years, um, he has been, we've been doing about seven years of food mobile in Tarboro on every fourth Thursday in the month. And Rick just appeared out of nowhere. And he has been so, so supportive. He hauls all of our extras away and he just gets in and he just can help do anything. Now, I didn't know Mr. Parker Jr., but if he left anything back in Rick like talking, that's a talking thing. <laughs> <laughs> but to know him is to love him. He has really been very supportive for us, and I just wanted to appear today to tell you that we've been made into a four night for joys coming in the morning. Amen. Well, y'all can clap better than that. Amen. We're going to have uh, just a couple more, then we got to move on. Uh, maybe anybody's got. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting. Oh, I, I, I didn't know why you were standing. I didn't know you were secured or what. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is James Daniels. I'm a deacon in my church. 
And uh, I am the son of David and Brother Morgan. But it puts me where I am, with Rick. Everybody called George Parker. Everybody called him Buck. But I called him George Parker Jr. I want to put that in there. Always, we laugh and talk. I, I'm going further back than the rest of the year. Because I remember when growing up with uh, uh, Grandma Yan and that cart with the goat. <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember that, but they were, they had a, his, their house was way up off the floor, off the ground like this, and cut and cut and made a, a cart to, try, to ride around with that goat pulling. And we just had a ball. We, we didn't work that goat so hard. We were running underneath the house and hide from them. <laughs> but we had a ball. We did. And uh, I do love uh, the family. Uh, I pray for the family all the time because I was introduced through adoption. My name is James Daniels, and David and Brother Morgan adopted me when I was seven years old. Me and my sister, Cassie, for all you knew her. And uh, she lives in Connecticut, but she just in George Park. And uh, the Bynums and all the family, just love you all. Thank you. Yes, sir. Who's going to call your name? Earl Carr. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good evening, everybody. Thank you, Earl Carr. Yeah. I want to say that this is a moment that everybody has to face one day in their life. This is his day. And I'm glad to be here to see him go. He was a good man. I know him for a long time. I met him about two years ago. And he's always been a man that keeps the business and, and love of what he do. Just like the man said. And he loves the way he's going to call him. Yeah, GTO. No, nah, GTS. Yeah. And he loved that GTS. And I said, oh, say me that car, man. He said, no, man, I can't do that. I give it with my wife before I give it that car. <laughs> 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 I just want everybody to know. Oh, that's a good man. And he gave a good life. <laughs> All right, thank you. Come on, let's give it up. <laughs> Next, we have, uh, is it Kiara? Kiara Knight, the uh, acknowledgement and the obituary. Then we have a selection by Brother Robert Winstead. Then we'll call for, for, for the eulogy. Our Reverend Jerry Bynum. We go in that order. Amen. Amen. May your precious memories and sympathy of friends help to comfort you at this time. Reverend Pastor Shirley Hill, um, Gordon, can't read this. Pastor Shirley Hill, and a church, and with sympathy and the loss of your father. May your heart be covered by the fine memories you have of your father and by the love that he left inside your heart. May it also help to ease your pain to know that others care about your sad loss. With care and sympathy, Bernice and Johnny, which much love and prayer. 
the obituary celebration of life of George Hope Parker Jr. Sunrise, April 29, 1947. Sunset, November 16, 2023. He will swallow of death and victory, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all, all faces, and the rebuke of his people shall. He takes away from all, all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. Isaiah 25, verse 8. Mr. George Hill Parker, Jr., son of the late George Parker, Sr., and the late Rita Williams Parker was born in Old Sparta, North Carolina, on April 29, 1947. And he departed this life on November 16, 2023, at the age of 76. He grew up in Edgecombe County, North Carolina. He graduated from George Washington Carver High School in 1965. He was a beloved father and grandfather. He was preceded in death by his parents and his brother, Johnny Williams, and his sisters, Ethel Marie Neal, Alex Marie Kennedy, and Geraldine Parker Till. He needs to cherish his legacy and memory. Three sons, George Ray Parker III of Wilson, North Carolina, Brandon Woody Knight Kier of Farmville, North Carolina, Omar Parker of Farmville, North Carolina, Three bonus sons, Lamont Elwood, Reggie Knight, Kevin Knight, and one daughter, Cecil Wayne Bumpers, cousin Thomas of Snow Hill, North Carolina. Eleven grandchildren, fifteen great grandchildren, one sister, sister, Hazel Parker of Philadelphia, one brother, Spencer Sharp of Washington, D.C., one aunt, Ernestine Warren of Greenville, North Carolina and one uncle, William Bill Williams of Norwalk, Connecticut, special friend, Sherry Oaks of Fountain, North Carolina, adopted brother, Johnny Davis of Rocky Mount, and a host of other relatives and friends. He served in the U.S. Army for four and a half years and reigned as an Army Specialist E-4. He was employed at Long Equipment Manufacturing Company in Tarburg. North Carolina for 38 years and worked at Trinity Steel in Rocky Rock, North Carolina for six years. He was a member of Edgecombe Street Rock Motorcycle Club for 46 years and a member of the Southeast Bike Association, SBA, for 45 years. He was known for his love of horses, motorcycles, and dogs. Form a solid tip. Just close your eyes and you will see all the memories that you have for me, heavenly. Just sit and relax and you will find I'm really there inside you. Don't cry for me now, I am gone, for I am in the land of song. There is no pain, there is no fear, so dry away that silent tear. Don't think of me in the dark and cold, for I am here. No longer of. I'm in that place that still <coughs> love known to you all as up above. <coughs> Acknowledging we, fam we, the family, are deeply appreciative and grateful for all the expression of sympathy and acts of love and kindness extended to us during the past and the Words can express how much we appreciate all that you have done. Thank you, and may God bless each and, each and every one of you, the Parker family. At the repast, the family will receive um, friends and fellowship back here at the church. His final resting place will be Anderson Chapel Baptist Church Cemetery in Macclesfield, North Carolina. Thank you. I got 
unless you've been born again. Mm-hmm. Nicodemus said, how can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very well, I say unto thee, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Before you can see it, but now you can't even enter. Follow me now. This which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto you, to be, you must be born again. Yes. Then we'll read verse 15. That whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Yes. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes. For God sent his Son, God sent him not his son into this world to condemn the world, but that the world through him he might be saved. Yeah, that's good. And he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not already, already. because he has not believed in the name of the only God. You must be born. Yeah. I'm not mistaken for you long, but myself is you must be born again. Yeah. And to be born again, you got to know Jesus for yourself. Yeah. You can't live off of mama's religion. You Come can't on. live off grandma's religion. You can't live off your brother's yeah. religion. You got to be born again. And to be born again, you got to know God personally. It's a personal relationship. And I'm not going to stand still because I'm not going to stand still preach. I walk. I move. But you got to be born again. And to be born again, you got to know God Come on now. You come up here and they tell you, okay, well, you have a right to fellowship now. You, you remember just not anybody else in the church? They ain't told you nothing about you. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> they told you nothing about you. 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 They told you nothing and the food baptized that you sit and share, you don't know Jesus, all you know is we're not a brass cell and come up away. Mm. You're still going to hell. Mm. Because you haven't been born again. That's why, that's why he lets you know you got to be born again. You got to know Jesus for yourself. You got to get the top of everything you know. Amen. Yes, sir. And the benefits of knowing Jesus and being saved, guess what the benefits is? One of the benefits is that when it comes judgment time, I don't have to stand up there and meet you. Yeah. Oh, God died on the cross for my sin. Yeah. That's good. He took mm. sin in my place. Yes, he, he didn't have no sin. Mm. But he took it for my place. Yes. He mm. took and died for me. Yeah. So I don't have to die no more. Mm. But that stuff up there, uh, it's when he comes back, you may have not been the lamb for the life. You in bad shape. Yeah. And it's too late then. Uh, why keep putting it off? I keep putting it off. Right. Yes. You don't want to go to hell. You might think you've been living through hell, but you don't know what hell is. Mm. Hell is fire and brimstone for eternity. You're going to stay somewhere after you close your eyes. Come on, preacher. You're going to stay somewhere now whether you want to stay in hell or you want to be with Jesus. But I'll tell you what, the good thing about being saved again, and guess what they do? All the secret things that I have done in my life that I am really embarrassed about, yes. it won't come back to me. Yes. Yeah. Oh, 
right now. Don't judge. Don't judge. That brought the one before Jesus. Call it an adult. Call it an adult. Moses said that I'll take this before the stone. That's the only kid. That's the word. But Jesus didn't do that. He stood down the right one. He was out sin cast the first time. On behalf of the family of the late George Parker and the Henry Wilson Mortuary and Night Picture Center, once again, thank you, Reverend Bible, for all you can encourage the word. I'd like to thank Dr. Harris for, for officiating, our soloists, and all the many friends for all acts and kindness and support to show this family, all with long been the passion and love one. I'd also like to announce that the middle service before Mr. Parker will be here at the Anderson Chapel Church Cemetery. As an all drivers in our field procession, if you will, please turn on your bright lights and flashes for safety. Uh, following our middle services, family will receive prayers here in the church fellowship. At this time, we're going to ask if we could get a solo uh, selection. Hey, hey, how you going? All right, all right.